am going to give you a very, hopefully, short demonstration of some of the flags we use in class and also how to make them. All of the information we will have on the website, so that way after seeing this little demonstration, you can go and get all of the numbers that you need to get your fabric. The first flag that we're going to show you is what I call is pretty much my straight flag because everything is straight. Thank you. The flag is made with the, from salvage to salvage. And salvage is that edge that is finished on your fabric when you get it. That way you don't have to make seams on all four edges, just two edges. So from salvage to salvage, it is 45 inches. And then the length of the flag is 47 from here down to the bottom. Now you will need about 50 inches of fabric to make the flag because you're going to put in a hem on your end. I have a hem roller, which makes a nice neat little hem. If it does, if you don't have one of those, you will have to fold it twice and then um, sew it. And then on the top, you're going to make your sleeve. And the sleeve is what goes over your pole. This pole is 52 inches long. It is a half inch PVC. And it's a small half inch PVC. So you use about three inches to make your sleeve here. I do a double stitch so that it's nice and strong and sturdy and folds over the fabric. It is attached with clear duct tape so that way I can take it off if I need to to clean it or wash it. Thank you very much. The next flag that we're going to do are my swing flags. These are actually the first flags that I made. We went to a flag conference and we saw them there and thought, see, they're fun. Now they're called a swing flag because the flag completely swings freely on its pole. And this is a 36 inch dowel. Um, it's a pretty sturdy one. The flag is made so that it will come off. You just slide your flag and this slides out of its two sleeves. It has a sleeve on the top and on the bottom. This the flag was a little more complicated to make. It has two pieces of fabric, obviously. They are double-sided and they are sewn together. This piece is one that goes over with a hem, and then this is your second piece. And you can serge or just simply do a zigzag stitch to put the two pieces together. Um, if you want to make this flag, email me and I can give you some more directions. But pretty much this flag is 45 inches from one end to the other and 25 inches long. And it's a great flag if you have not so much room because as you can see, she can move around much easier. If your ceilings are short, you won't hit the ceiling with your pole. The next flag that we're going to show you is our pleated flag. And this is very much like the straight flag except it has a pleat that shortens up the fabric a little bit. This pole is a 52 inch pole as well, but the fabric from salvage to salvage is 60 inches long. And with four pleats in it that are an inch deep, which takes up three inches of fabric, it turns it down into a 48 inch, I guess, wide flag. The length of it is 45 inches, so you'll need about 48 inches of 60 inch width fabric to make this flag. It's made the same way that the straight flag is made, with the sleeves doubled over, double seamed, and the flag on the end. And this makes a very nice billowy flag. Um, it has a lot more motion and movement in it because of that extra fabric. And the last flag that I'm going to show you is my little butterfly flag. Now this is very similar to the swing flag, except it has a lot more fabric in it. It is 29 inches this way, but it has 90 inches of fabric from end to end this way, which is compressed down into about 40 inches. It also has a sleeve here, and for this one, it has just a little simple snap that allows you to take it off. This fabric has got many, many seats in it down the length of it, and these, um, the extra fabric folds over and it holds it onto it. Now this makes a beautiful, billowy, gentle um, flag, and it's just it's very pretty. It's 
ones that we use for our slower dances. And it's also small, so if you're in a small space, you don't hit people and um, create havoc. But um, that's probably that's the, the latest flag that I've created. So those are the four flags that um, we play with and we have. Um, if you have any questions, please email me. Otherwise, have fun and happy flag making.